from the looks of these photos, you can almost guess what happened. Donald Wilkinson was in a traumatic accident two years ago when a high speed chase broke out, leaving him to deal with the damage. The accident was life changing, not only for Wilkinson, but his entire family. Everyone always tells me, you know, you're just so lucky to have your dad alive. I agree with that. Like I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. He's alive. He lived through the incident. I haven't had a conversation with my dad in two years since this accident happened. So he's right here next to me, but I can't, I can't have a conversation with him. Um, due to some of the brain injuries that he suffered, he doesn't really understand a lot of things. He can't really um, hold a conversation. As you can see, he hasn't really said anything since we've been out here. But So it's, it's real tough knowing that he's right here, but he's really not right here. Now his son, Brandon, is on a mission to bring awareness to high-speed chases gone wrong. So we, uh, you know, we want to start a foundation, and I'm working with people to get that up and running. And um, like I said, we just want to support other people because I know how rough it's been for us. And if anybody else is going through that throughout this country, um, anywhere, really, um, I want to be able to help, you know, because I wish we would have had that help and that support and things of that nature. However, Brandon believes there should be a reform when it comes to what his father experienced. Um, the biggest thing is we, we need to have a reform in that area. That doesn't mean that, you know, we're against law enforcement. You know, we have family that's in law enforcement and, and that support law enforcement. Um, accountability doesn't, it isn't bereft of support or love. I hold my four-year-old daughter accountable for things that she should or shouldn't do all the time. That doesn't mean I, didn't love, I don't love her. You know, um, accountability is just holding one to a standard. We, we have to get this together so other people don't deal with what we're dealing with and other people are in the position that he's in. And that's the biggest thing. We, we, we have to revisit this area and ensure that, you know, we really are acting in um, the best interest of the public. Shar Thomas, ABC 31 News. That works for you.